the biggest barrier at the end of the day was tears of happiness because the process was so easy to get done. Maddie McMillan, a transgender person who lives here in Calgary, is drawing attention to a positive situation after multiple registries wouldn't replace a misplaced driver's license with the proper gender marker and an updated photo reflecting who she is now. The first place I went to, the first registry, they made known they weren't going to be able to provide service to me. So I moved on to the second place. I went to the second place. It had ample confusion and inadequate knowledge. Uh, I left there with a new card, but that card was upsold. It did not have my correct gender marker and it did not have a new photo of me. It had a 10 year old photo of me uh, and because I was a man in that person's worldview. McMillan says she accepted that license out of desperation, but wanted the correct identification. So she tried one more time here at Registries Direct on Center Street. And she was pleasantly surprised when they provided her a new ID with the correct gender marker name and a new photo. She says what it came down to was proper inclusivity training and a willingness in all staff to learn and help. Everyone there was aware of the process enough to pick up if someone else had a gap. That's what highlighted. It wasn't just one person and that's the expert and we don't care. It was everyone cared and gathered to hear the barrier. After getting a new ID, McMillan shared the moment on Twitter, getting lots of feedback, similar positive experiences, but also the same hurdles. She says more education and awareness will help diminish these negative experiences, which can be traumatizing. There's so many parts of that process, of that path, that can be made easier. But you really have to go wading through the waters for the government to acknowledge that you want to make that step. For those seeking to change a name, gender marker, or get an updated photo, Skipping Stone Foundation, a nonprofit organization working to create inclusive environments for people across the spectrum of gender and sexuality, has resources on their website for all Canadians. McMillan hopes her situation's outcome can be a sign of hope. I look forward to seeing ways that we can make the process even easier, but I'm so glad that we have places that include all. In Calgary, Taylor Broad, City News.